Hey guys, welcome back. So, uh, this week I am in the process of re-chroming some of the parts for my C-3PO costume. Uh, included in that list of parts are the shorts, the crotch, and the butt. Um, and unlike the other parts of the costume, these are made out of vacuum plastic. So, vacuum ABS plastic. i got to be specific on this. It matters in this video. And you can see they're all like terrible because I'm in the process of stripping them down. Um, and as I'm stripping them down, I'm trying to do repairs. So any little cracks or things in the fiberglass parts are pretty easy to fix. But uh, the ABS plastic, I didn't know what would work on here because it's really, really, it's got a lot of flex to it. It's really thin and it was starting to really, really show signs of wear and tear. So the crotch all through here was all broken. There's chips broken out of the top. Uh, all through the butt was all cracked. There's pieces missing. This whole piece here was completely disconnected. You can see now it's in there nice and strong. Um, and I was able to fix this. Now, I'll show you how I did this. The method is probably not new. I'm sure it's been done tons and tons before and lots of people have seen this, but it came to me today while I was working on the C-3PO arms, which these are 3D printed out of ABS plastic. Um, they're getting prepped. These will be part of the new chroming job as well. Um, now these print in a bunch of pieces, so like this lower arm is is multiple parts. It's the same with the upper. It's two big pieces and I fuse them together. And I fuse them together using acetone, which you can do with ABS plastic. You can't do this with other 3D printer filaments, but it does work with ABS. So as I'm doing this, um, I was making some putty that you can fix little holes with uh, using scrap ABS. Now. Uh, basically, I take scraps, and if you've watched my videos a few months ago, I was trying to print arms, and they kept failing on me. I've got all these pieces, so I've been taking the pieces of the 3D printed arms, uh, cutting them up, I put them in a jar, and I throw some acetone in the jar with the parts, and you get like a, like a putty, basically, that you can patch stuff with. And when it dries, it is ABS and is completely bonded to the original ABS. What this is doing is chemically welding the parts together. So. The acetone basically melts the two pieces, you stick them together, and as the acetone evaporates, the pieces become one, which is really, 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 really handy. And as I'm doing this, I'm thinking, wow, this ABS is just this chemical bonding process so great, just what I just told you. And I was like, man, I wonder if that would work on my shorts, which I think are also ABS, if I recall, because it's six years ago when I bought them. So I used some of this in here, and this is my patch for the ABS, and it's worked really, really well. Now, if I had a little foresight, I would have used white uh, printer filament to make my, my uh, putty. But this is what I had on hand, and it's going to get painted anyway, so nobody's going to see this. But it's, it is patched. It's really, really strong. I was able to completely replace the parts that were missing. I just put a piece of tape over the edge, backfilled it with the, um, with the ABS, and once it was dry, I pulled the tape off, and now I've got a nice, strong part where there was literally no piece here before. Now these haven't been sanded yet or anything, but they're uh, they're ready to go, basically to be sanded. They're totally strong, and you can see here I fixed the back. Same thing. There were parts where there's pieces broken out. This whole piece here was completely broken off, and now it is 100% sturdy. Really, really good. I'm thinking it might even be possible to embed some fabric in between uh, another layer of the ABS, like put down a wet layer of ABS put down some thin fabric and then a third layer over it. And that way, if it does crack, it gives it a little extra something to keep it from spreading. Um, I might try this tonight. I'm not sure. But anyway, I figured I'd share this because uh, if you got a 3D printer and you got ABS filament around, it's a really good way to fix parts. So uh, I know a lot of guys have like stormtrooper armor that gets cracks on the shoulders or here or there. And if it's made out of ABS, this is a good fix. I'm sure uh, everybody else knows this already, but for me, it's a new thing, so I figured I'd share. Anyway, hopefully this was helpful to some of you guys. Um, if you're asking why I don't just buy new shorts instead of fixies, it's because I'm working on new ones now that are going to be way more accurate and awesome, and uh, I will have those to show hopefully in a month or two, maybe less if I'm lucky. Uh, but anyway, thanks guys for stopping by, and I will see you kids soon!